in today's video, we catch Florida stone crabs, clean the claws, and then cook the claws. This is Landshark Lager Steamed Florida Stone Crab Claws. What is going on, Dark Sizzle Nation? I hope you guys have been doing great. I have my dad with me today, and we are crabbing today. That's our focus, checking our stone crab traps. We just got pulled up our first trap in one of our secret locations, and we are doing our catch and cook today. Super happy. We have a ton in the freezer. So let's check this trap and see what we got. Oh, oh baby. baby. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Wow. First trap, we got some keeper claws already, so that, that's a great sign. Awesome. <laughs> he's locked on, he's locked on. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. This crab, pretty sure, is officially one of the biggest stone crab claws I have ever seen. Usually, stone crabs are right handed, and for whatever reason they are, their right hand claw, which is the giant one I'm holding right here, up high, this one is considered their crushing claw. This is where they're going to crush all their crustaceans with, and they can crush up to 19,000 pounds per square inch. I mean, that is a serious claw. You cannot win a, a thumb, wear, thumb war with a stone crab. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and rip off this big claw right now. Perfect. 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 Good job. Back home. Just dropped that first trap back into the water, rebaited thanks to the help with my dad getting these traps done today. But I ended up taking two claws off both of those crabs. Each of them had a legal claw. That is so awesome. And we still have more crab tracks to check. Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We definitely got a keeper claw or two in there. And a catfish. We got a gauge right here. This one is a claw side, this is a lobster side, and my dad is holding them, but this is how you measure them, right on their elbow here. And as long as that claw is past the gauge, the notch, it's a keeper. So that's a keeper claw. Wow, it is really windy. The regulations for the stone crabs is you're allowed to keep both claws if they're legal size claws, but we decided to only keep the one, one claw today. Okay, that is the third trap we just dropped. We have one more trap to check. And I know some of you guys have been asking about the missing trap that I totally lost both side. We have not gone on a recovery mission yet. We are trying to do that very, very soon. We're just waiting for the right conditions, low tide, no current, and not crazy wind like this. But we're gonna go, we're gonna try and go get it, I promise you. and a lot of smaller size stone crabs. You might have a keeper claw or two. Let's check it out. <laughs> Put you in a bird Luckily, at me, that daughter. Was my finger. <laughs> let go, That's let impolite. go. Please let go, dude. You're a fool again. <laughs> wow, it's powerful. There we go. Oh, baby. Keeper. Yeah, baby. Keeper. Of course you said that. Uh -oh. Non-keeper. Definitely not a keeper, nowhere close. Going back home. Went to Publix with my brother Connor. Oh, I'm spilling my coffee. We just got everything we need to do our catch and cook. I'm so excited. As you guys know, crab season opened up on October 15th of 2017. We've had our traps in the water that long, so coming on to four months now. And we have been collecting these claws slowly but surely over the course of time. And as we've been doing that, I've been storing them in the freezer. In order to put them in the freezer, you want to make sure that you don't put them in raw because if they go in the freezer like that, the actual meat will stick to the inside of the crab shell and it's just gonna not be flavorful and you're gonna ruin the meat pretty much. 
So what you always do, and even the commercial guys who are crabbing, they always cook them on the boat. Usually these crabs are pretty dirty because you know they live on the bottom. So usually there's a bunch of growths and like mold and stuff. So I take a little bottle brush and I just scrub those areas that I see, you know, dirt and stuff because they are bottom dwellers and they don't swim. So they're always on the bottom with all the crap that's there. Yeah, so Darcy's gonna clean all those clothes that we caught today. And uh, as we may have mentioned before, Boynton is a terrible crab area to catch crabs. So we've been saving these up for a month for Connor's farewell dinner. And uh, Connor, today is Connor's last day uh, before going back to the Marines for more training. And tomorrow's his birthday, so it's a big dinner. And so we're just getting all that, all that done. So when we first get the crabs again, we clean them and we boil them so then they're cooked and then we uh, vacuum seal them. And so right now we have a whole bunch saved up and then we're gonna steam them to heat them up and eat tonight with Connor. And we're gonna steam them using Lanch Dog Lager beer, of course. Usually we do it around two minutes, but since I have a giganto claw, I'm gonna call that colossal. I'm going to probably do it for about three to four minutes. I pour it in until I see that it's, you know, quarter, three-eighths of an inch below the Yeah. Thing. You go ahead. Okay. You're the expert. My dad, Tim, is helping out with the steaming process. It's going to be pretty close. Okay, we'll wait for this. the foam to quit. I'm gonna have my dad give you guys an update about how his health has been doing lately because I think you guys haven't heard in quite a while and as far as his numbers go, um, so just tell him really quick, just so they know. Um, I'm doing well, my chemo's, I'm doing what it's supposed to do. My numbers have kind of stopped there, which is good. You either want them to fall or stop. Right. So right now I'm in uh, pretty good shape. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, and I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. There's some long-term effects, losing your fingernails and losing hair and losing your beard. But other than that, the alternative is far worse, so I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm doing well. Thank you. Look at all my stone crabs. This is awesome. I believe we have collected about nine pounds worth of stone crab claws. We got bags and bags of stone crab claws. Killing it over here. It's just so much more rewarding too, knowing that we caught each and every one of these and broke them off and now we're about to feast. What are you doing, Connor? Making a garnish right now. Because you're a sushi chef? I was a sushi chef, but I'm a United States Marine now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Connor's last day, guys. His 10 day leave is up. I can't believe it. He was here like for just a short little bit of time and it's gone. Yeah, I pretty much got here yesterday. What the heck? <laughs> also done. guys, when you see this video, it's going to be past, but it's Connor's birthday tomorrow, the day he leaves. So it would appreciate it if you guys will wish Connor a happy birthday uh, before he heads out to Camp Geiger, North Carolina. Yep. So. And follow a, him on Instagram. He's a big yes. two two, big two two. What's yes. What's your Instagram again? Connor underscore Arahill. We just steamed our stone crab claws for about like 20, 30 minutes, you say, right? Yeah. Yeah, like 20, 30 sure. minutes, just oh. to make sure all of them got the ice off and de-thawed correctly. So we're gonna take them off, and Connor, the artiste and the ex-sushi chef, is we're gonna leave it up to him to make it a beautiful display of stone crab claws. See? <laughs> Hungry. I'm gonna charge it. you the ex-sushi chef. This is crabs. Listen, he's gonna make it beautiful. I crab sushi. It's I think I should do it. I used to work in a deli. We all had jobs <laughs> today. This is his yeah, job. Yeah, I catered. I did catering. He's making this beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and serve <laughs> them out in our dishes. Here, darts. Let me give you a little. What about the mustard stuff? stuff? Is that gonna go? Oh, we'll just do that separate. You excited to go back to the Marines, Connor? Oh yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to kill. <laughs> You're not gonna be killing it. It's a little hot. Right <laughs> Big killer got burned by a crab claw. Yeah. It's too hot. They're hot. Hot, hot, hot crabs. Almost as hot nom, as nom, me. Nom, 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 nom. Almost as hot I'm as I'm fake me. pretending I'm eating it right now. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Can you do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> nom, nom. Whoa. Whoa. 6.50 a.m. Okay. Are your orders? Yes, my orders. Let me see what orders look like in the Marines. Whoa, private information. But I'll show you guys, <laughs> just because I like you it. You have to kill you. You have to kill you. Ooh. Well, at 6.50 a.m. Ain't too bad. I woke up at 4 o'clock every day. <laughs> Ain't nothing to do but to do it, right? All right, let's eat. Woo-hoo! Oh. supposed to put the napkin over it. That's true. Did I get you? <laughs> no. My bad. Come on, Marine. 
Oh, we gotta get our mustard sauce. It's pretty Should good. Right there. Really there good, actually. I recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He that? recommends it. Very he good. had sushi and all of his favorite meals that dad cooked him. He got all of his favorite stuff. Mm -hmm. A short 10 days. Yeah, went by quick. How do you crack it on this side or the up? Oh, oh. Guys, nice. Language. <laughs> Whoa. That wasn't Marie, me. get hold me back. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna oh eat gosh, it. It's sweet. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. I have been waiting four long months for this meal. This is mm -hmm. epic. Oh my gosh. You're making me go on camera, guys. I know you missed me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Dar Sizzle's BF. That's for boyfriend. My necklaces. Really good. Even butter. Delicious. Almost worth four months of work. Oh, and I, oh, my. <laughs> yeah, almost We've been yeah. collecting these crabs forever. And we do want to remind you, if you've done a lot of crab videos, and when we made the crabs, I'll put that link up uh, right up here on the left. So if you guys can do this at home with your family too, and have a great meal on a special occasion. Ah, shit. Pick me up in the case. Look at my claws. Look at this thing. It's gonna be a beautiful necklace. Look how giant. Ah. Wrapping up our dinner. There is exactly nine stone crab claws left, but we are stuffed. All I had was stone crab. I am stuffed to the gills. I can't eat anymore. How was it, Connor? Ooh, Lord. <laughs> the burst different. The best birthday meal ever. It was. <laughs> I can't even talk. He says it's way better than lobster. We've had a lot of lobster. Oh, so. Sucks. That is awesome. How did you like it, Dad? Two words. Pepto bismol. <laughs> <laughs> awesome I dinner. It. It awesome. Awesome dinner with the family. Last night for Connor before he's gone. So that's an epic meal to have. But let's go ahead and wrap up this video. What an epic day and epic dinner. And now it's time to sit down, chill out, and go to bed. So until our next adventure. Follow, Follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on catching. From the halls of. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Hurry up. Oh, they're stuck. They're gone. Oh, we should no. have loved those first. Oh, that was bad. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Woo! Oh, ah, <laughs> oh, you can't blow it out. Oh, oh they keep relighting. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>